kati ya pendekezo la kupunguzwa kwa ushuru wa mradi ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu kutoka asilimia tatu hadi asilimia moja nukta tano tumepata fursa ya kuwauliza wananchi maoni yao kuhusiana na pendekezo hilo. Weri mukimani na taarifa hiyo. Leo hii tuko katikati mwa jiji la Nairobi tayari kukusanya maoni ya wakenya kuhusu mswada wa serikali wa ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu. Hebu na tupate maoni yao. Imepunguzwa kutoka asilimia tatu hadi hadi asilimia moja na, na, na nusu ambao ni 1.5%. Eh, Naweza sema ya kwamba eh, there's a relief ina manufaa. Eh, wakati iliku asilimia tatu kwa kusema kweli ilikuwa inafinyilia mno lakini kwa sasa vile imepunguzwa hadi asilimia mo, eh, moja na nukta tano eh, kuna kuna relief the housing thing let's look at it at a larger picture the housing thing i, I don't think it's adding up for me what happens if i die who will follow up on it what happens to those who have houses? I don't need a house. What happened to such a kind of a person? I'm not for it. Seven, seven years. No, ni pata nyumba. A one bedroom house goes at 1.6 million shillings. To assume a government. Umu tuwa china ta own nyumba siku gana. Ta janga nyumba miyaka ngapi. Si ataishu kwa nyumba 30, 40 years na kufe. Aya, let's go back. These nyumba zenye NHC me build. Are you sure ni watu wa china wanaishu kwa hizo nyumba? Eh? How can someone in Kibira own that house? If I may ask, since you have contributed me at that, I just want to see me tomorrow. See me tomorrow, I'm in Anani. No, no. The government has money, okay? We're just going to buy a house. We're not going to pay for rent. We're going to pay for mortgage. Former President Kibaki, who cut the alliance with Chenga Kibira, I will cut our two missara. I contribute the person who talks about revenue in the Constitution of Kenya. I will choose a villa to live in at Chenga. If we go to current government, they spend three billion, three trillion for expenditures. That money is enough. Ya kuchengea watu manyumba na other things. The day, utapata watu wanasuguma, jo watachukwe so matenda, watasapura kila kitu paka mchanga, raw materials, kwa mafamilia sao, oro kwa close friends. So hii ni nchia mocha ama ingine, ya kufunika wakanya macho na kutuibia. Tumejenga manyumba. Hata saa hii naweza kukuonyesha. Nilikuwa naangalia tu uh, nyumba yangu ya kule mashambani, kule nyandarwa, na kule molo, na pia hapa Nairobi. Mi narudi na katu wa 3% nijege nyumba gani? That one is the problem now. It has now been reduced to 1.5%. Mi mwenyewe hata sijaiona. Hata kama imeridusua to maybe 1% or whatever. Ni kuamba. Kwa nini waweke huo ushuru kama hawajaelewana na mwenye kutozo wa ushuru? Ile mtu tuko na nyumba hapa Kenya. Ile Kenya wangetufanyia waturudise mafuta chini. Itoke kwa 16% kuje kwa 4% ita, itasadia mwana nchiwa. Ayo ndiyo baadhi ya maoni ya wa Kenya huku wakionishana kutoridhishwa na mswada huu na wakiuliza serikali ya Kenya kwanza haswa wanaonufaika katika mswada huu ni kina nani? Warimu kimani, look up TV. Nairobi.